I'm a fan. You're gonna be in the next Shirey Life video. I am in every Shirey Life video. It is a requirement these days. <laughs> Alright, you got this by yourself, right Lance? I got this all. I don't know what you guys are doing here. Let's just give it a go. Let's just give it a go here. I'll tell you what, James, if you want to steady it just to where it's not doing the whole flippy floppy thing. Okay. Lost it cause. We tried. Win some, you lose some. So as you can see from the video, we failed to move the pool table out of that basement. We probably should have measured it, measured the door frame, measured all that stuff together before we attempted to take it all apart and get it out of the basement. So we probably missed some steps in there, but that's okay because I got time to spend with a few of my friends on a Friday afternoon. We talk a lot about community on this channel and you'll see that on Thursdays I'm part of a leadership group. On Friday I meet with a group of guys and we talk about things going on in our lives. We hold each other accountable because we're trying and doing our best to live a life on purpose and influence those around us for the better. So that's why we meet, that's why we do what we do because we want to become better. Recently I found some scientific research that backs up the thought of hanging out with like-minded people. Morin Cerf is a neuroscientist from Northwestern University. This guy's been studying decision making for well over 10 years so he knows what he's talking about. His research has found that when two people are in each other's company hanging out their brain waves will begin looking identical. 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 I'm gonna read you a direct quote from his article. The more we study engagement we see time and again that just being next to certain people actually aligns your brain with them. Think about that for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never wanted to be a scientist anyways. <laughs> Science sucks. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> really. <laughs> Let's go break something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this means the people you hang out with actually have an impact on your engagement with reality beyond what you can explain. And one of the effects is you become a light. Every dad, every parent watching this right now is thinking, I knew this was true. I knew this was true. And now finally there's science to back up the thought that who my kids hang around will greatly affect who they ultimately become as adults. And it affects you and I. That's why I choose to hang out with people who I know I can count on, who are ambitious, who have goals, and that's why it's so important that you hang out with the right crowd of people. I've said this before, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. So what am I trying to say? Surround yourself with people who embody the traits that you prefer. Because over time, we're naturally gonna pick up people's traits, whether they're good or whether they're bad. You become like who you surround yourself with. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. We get to choose who we surround ourselves with. Surround yourself with on-purpose people. So I'll ask you all this. Who are you surrounding yourself with? Are you surrounding yourself with people who are bringing you up? Or are you surrounding yourself with people who are holding you down? Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Jeremiah, Lance, James, thanks for hanging out last Friday.